Start of the day keeps the mechanic away. I have no idea why I turned on the car just to turn it back off. That was stupid. Dusty is filthy. Just need some love. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, yeah, man, she is dirty. She is real, real dirty. Let's clean her up real quick. like that dusty is clean yes sir she looking good Woo! you guys remember those spots i used to go to well that main spot i used to go to to film these type of videos yeah i can't go there no more for some reason like they're working there or something i don't know what's going on i thought that warehouse part of the building was like abandoned but it wasn't today because i went there and it was like eight people just like chilling in the parking lot where i usually film videos and the warehouse door is open so rp to that spot man hopefully you guys can get used to this new spot that's at a park i don't really like parks I like the warehouse scenery because you know the colors and stuff everything just pops like the blue on the on the walls like the white walls pop and all that stuff but hopefully this this park does it does it justice man it's just sad i want to talk to you guys about why i think this is the best car you could buy or well, the best sports car that he could buy i know first kicks if you guys watch first kicks i know he did a video like this on his uh his 350z he said a 350Z is the best car to buy under 15,000. I'm not gonna disagree and say no, it's not, because it's a good car to get, but it's just like, it's not, you know? I don't know. I just like Hondas. So, in my opinion, I think the 9th Gen is the best car you could buy for under $15,000. And uh, you could find a lot of clean ones for under $15,000, too. That's the crazy part. And plus, they're higher in a year to like, you know, you can find a clean 13, a clean 15, clean 14 for under 15,000 when that's that's pretty good instead of getting like something that's I'm not gonna say old but the Nismo 350Z is kind of old like the interior is kind of outdated but I don't it's just it's opinions bro out of the four years of owning this car I could say I basically didn't do anything major to this car like nothing went out nothing's bad I drive this car at least 200 miles a week or like around there and uh have no issues with anything and i like bang gears driving to work bang gears coming back from where it's like the car is performing and is healthy and it's strong like it's crazy like these cars are really 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 reliable and for under fifteen thousand dollars i say that's like a good steal plus the interior is really nice if you get a 15 you get the nice red seats you get the nice dash the carbon fiber and uh the sound system the sound system in this car is pretty good for stock like it's really loud not really loud but it's decent for what it is because it's a civic you want to think a civic would be sounding this good but it sounds great in my car dusty she looks really good and i haven't done too much to her to be honest with you like i can put shots of her on stock wheels lowered with just a lip and it looks so nice on stock wheels i'm gonna put it like right here if you guys ever seen that picture it looks amazing the motor on these cars are really, really good. Unless you get a 12. I heard the 12s are pretty bad, but you're not going to be buying a 12 for $15,000. If you buy a 12 for $15,000, you you just got, like, finesse, bro, because that's terrible. Full bolt-ons, these cars are quick. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are going to say, oh, they're not quick, yada, yada, yada. It's because you guys are doing the wrong mods. I'm not saying SIs are fast. They're not going to be a full bolt-on Mustang, but, I mean, if they're turbo, of course that could happen. But literally, full bolt-on, E85 tune, RBC manifold. You could be some pretty, pretty quick cars. You could be a, a 350. You could, pre, you could probably be a 370. You could 
keep up with a Mustang. I've seen videos of people in SRs keeping up with Mustangs. It's like, you know, you can do a lot of things with these cars and the car just takes it. Plus, if you throw a Type-S oil pump on these cars, you can rev them out to like 85,000, which is, well, 8,500, which is crazy, bro. Also, like the aftermarket scene on these cars are like amazing. There's so many companies that make different parts for the cars, so many different wheels you could throw on, so many different looks you could go for. I'm telling you, you, you probably find a couple of SIs that look similar, but you're not gonna find a lot that looks exactly the same. And I think that's one thing I really like about the knife gen that there's so much things you could do to it that your car will always look different from somebody else's. And if you guys are like real big on being like different, then a knife gen is definitely where it's at. Or an SI just in general, because there's so many things you could do to them. There's people who put the 2015 coupe bumper on these and it looks aggressive, looks crazy. There's people who put the 13 coupe bumper on these, which looks good too. Also people buy the Type R bumper, which is, there's not a Type R for this car, but they have a bumper. But yeah, a lot of people buy those. A lot of people buy the Asian bumper, which looks good too. It's like, you could do so many different things to this car that it just sticks out and like, you can spot it from like a mile away because it's just so different. And probably my favorite part about this car is like this angle right here. Like, I don't know if you guys could, like, see what I'm saying. Like, this angle right here looks so fire. Like, the body line of this car is so nice. And, like, it's just, the car is thick. Like, it's literally thick. It's a thick car. And it's a Civic. You don't think Civics will be thick. Like, look at that booty, bro. That booty thick. What? To be honest, the back of the car is probably the best looking part of the car to me. It looks so good. It's just, like, I don't know. It's something about, like, how it just looks, bro. It looks aggressive. Especially with the amber tail lights, the carbon fiber right there, the mazal, the azals is just thick. It just looks good. I really like how this car looks, bro. I don't know if you guys do, but shoot, this thing looks. Oh my god, dang, this thing is thick. Who? The only con I can really say about the knife gen is like, if you get an old one, not an old one, but like one that's like, you know, not too good in condition, like the motor's not too good, you could experience like your motor burning oil. And that's all Hondas. All Hondas eventually gonna burn oil. Don't matter what you try, it's gonna burn oil eventually. It's not gonna be like early. It's gonna be like probably late in the stage. Unless you take really, really good care of your car, then you don't have to worry about that. But if you, you know, you miss a couple, not a couple, but you miss a lot of oil changes and stuff, and you, you know, you beat on the car a lot, you can expect it to have some type of oil burning or it's like, you know, something's leaking like the, the uh, VTEC solenoid and stuff like that. So yeah, man. Also, what I love about the knife gen is that they scream, bro. I know I don't have a Z3 head. I know I don't have cams on both sides of the engine. But for what it is, bro, these cars scream. And if you want to make some crazy power, so many things you could do. You could throw a nitrous on it. You could throw a turbo kit on it. You could throw a supercharger kit on it. Usually, superchargers don't make as much as turbos. But, you know, if you want to have that reliability and, you know, it's a daily driver and you just want a little quick power, supercharger is the way to go. But if you want to go all out, you could go turbo kit. E85, fuel system, all that stuff, and be making like 500 on stock motor, which is crazy because not, there's not a lot of cars that can make 500 on stock motor. Five minutes later. All right, guys, so back at the house. I got kicked out of the last spot. I didn't even know parks closed. I thought they stay open to like 11 a.m., 10 a.m., but yeah, back home. Now we can finish up this video. But like I was saying, you guys, this car has a lot of potential. You can do a lot of different things to it. And for under 15,000, you can't like, you know, you can't beat that. I mean, like, look at mine. I haven't done too much to it. I only have a lip, rims, coils. I haven't done too much, but you know, I've done enough that it stands out. Little touches here and there makes this car look different from a lot of other SIs. And I think that's the main reason why I really, really love the knife gens. I could go on and on about many things about the knife gen, but I'm not gonna do it because this video will be like 40 minutes long. So this is why I'm ending up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, follow your boy Instagram, my underscore got the soda. And if you guys are really looking to buy a knife gen, just go do it, bro. You won't regret it. It's a great car, reliable. Doesn't cost a lot to make it quick. And it's, it just looks great. Like, fire, bro. Too hot. But yeah, that's it for the video. Your boy's out. Peace.